Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> so I do apologize if there's like a bit of an echo. I'm having to sit in my bathroom in the dark because if I turn on the light, the fan will run so that I can hopefully buffer out some of the noise of the construction still happening outside. Uh, there's like a giant sinkhole right out front of my apartment. So they've been fixing that all day and they can't stop until it is fixed. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. Happy hump day. Thank you so much for tuning on in. I truly do appreciate it. We finally have an update for our girl Foodie. She is in fact sick. Uh, we could have called it. But I wonder if she's going to talk about the camel. If it's because of that. Or if, you know, her diabetes got even worse. I have a feeling this past week that she's been MIA, she's just kind of been doing whatever the hell she wants and eating whatever she wants. So who knows? We'll see what this update is. But I also think it's just like a black screen. So I do apologize, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much once again. Like and subscribe, become a channel member. And let's just dive right on in, shall we? I'm wondering if she lost her eye. Hi, guys. Hey, foodie. You definitely sound under the weather, girl. So, I'm sure most of you have been waiting for this. Um, well, don't say it like we've been counting down the days till foodie finally gets sick. I don't want to see you sick, girl. Or Amber. I don't want to see anyone sick. So, like, you know, even though I think you're horrible people, I don't want to see y'all sick and, you know unhealthy so please just do what you need to do to get better i apologize in advance for the quality of this video because um i don't really have the energy to edit even put pictures up for you i just don't i can't dude does she have like the flu or something like what the heck so um, it's not going to be edited, so there's going to be a lot of pauses and stuff like that. Don't worry, y'all. I'll edit out the major pauses. Um. Unless y'all don't want me to. Maybe I shouldn't so we can get the full effect of the sickness. <laughs> well, I'm alive. Girl. Barely. I don't know what's wrong with me. Definitely something you caught from the camel. I'm going to guess. I would put money on the camel. Um, I think it was, yeah, the 19th, maybe around noon. I started feeling really dizzy and nauseous. And like, I just want to sleep. So I went to bed. And it just kind of went downhill from there. I had chills, fever. And let me guess, we're not going to go see a doctor until it's like too late, essentially. I don't know if you guys have ever had a fever dream. Oh my gosh. They're so weird. So those were fun. Yeah, yeah I bet. Sounds it. Um, I would wake up drenched in sweat. Oh. You know. Oh, girl. Imagine being Salah waking up in a wet bed. <laughs> um, that's still happening, but waking up drenched in sweat. Um, you know, there's medication for this, girl. Um, I haven't eaten, like, anything in... Since the 19th, except for... Hey, she's gonna lose some weight then, finally. About time. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not really. I tried having, like, water. And then I tried having water with salt, sea salt and lemon. Interesting. And... I guess that would probably be, I guess, good for electrolyte. But, I don't know. That's just too gross. I bet, girl. <laughs> and I know I'll throw it up. So I only threw up once, but the nausea's bad. 
Um, I had a few berries. Like This really couldn't be, like, a community post? Fresh blueberries. Those are pretty good. Oh, no, because she needs that paycheck. That's right. That's right. Miss Thing hasn't worked in, like, almost a week, so... But I don't have really much of an appetite, but I'm going to try for energy's sake to have something healthy, just even a few bites, because I want to try to get the energy to go see a doctor. Uh, girl, I would have been at one already if the symptoms were this bad, but sure. Also, just, like, have some plain rice. Like, just keep it bland. It doesn't necessarily need to be, like, the healthiest thing out there because... Truth be told, you've eaten, like, crap your entire life. So eating a full meal or even just a few bites of something healthy when you're sick, it's probably going to mess with your stomach more than just having some plain toast. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, I'll have to keep you guys updated on... I mean, yeah, girl, you'll have to what happens at the doctor so um i think this has been the most sick i've ever been and my that's very alarming girl very alarming how quickly all of these health things have come up life honestly uh i don't know how to explain it just like headache dizzy the nausea the chills, the fever. Um, being thirsty. I know, you know, it's coincidentally, I get sick right after I go see the camel again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girl, yeah. And it spits in my face. Um, so maybe, maybe let's avoid the wild camels, maybe the ones that are, you know, in zoos are better for you. <laughs> I don't know if it's related to that. It could be. I would put money on it, foodie. But usually with camels, it's um, you're at risk of getting Middle Eastern Respiratory um, Syndrome or, or MERS. It's a form of COVID, which attacks your respiratory system. And, and that would be very, very bad for you, girl, with your already botched lungs. Mine is okay. I mean, I'm heavy breathing a little bit now because I spent, I spend most of my time in bed laying down with my CPAP and yeah, like 24 seven. That's so scary, girl. So you're on oxygen now, essentially, 24-7. Yikes, girl. That's extremely scary. Um, I have sores inside my nose that are really painful. Oh, foodie, you need to go to the ER, girl. What the hell? Oh, I don't know where they come from. Have you been doing the, the nose candy, girl? Nose snow? I don't know if it's from the CPAP or what, but I've had to, like, just, you know, try my best to just rest. I've just been sleeping, honestly. I I mean, yeah, but girl, you need to get some medicine. Didn't even have the energy to tell Amber to ship you some of those antibiotics. To answer people like family and stuff like that i answered i did i did answer them eventually but like for the first few days the first couple of days i was like out <clears throat> that's wild that's wild you couldn't even have salah send them a text like interesting so if you didn't if you message me and you didn't get a response it's nothing personal i'm just it's nothing personal. It's just you have her phone number, but you have to hear about it in a video. You know, not well. So I don't, I don't even have the energy to talk and explain to everybody. So that's why I'm doing this video. 
I don't know when I'll be all right. I don't know if I'll have to go into the hospital. Girl, you should. I probably would have by now. Um. I hope not, but I have a feeling that I'll need to probably get on some fluids or something. Right. You need medicine, girl. You need actual medicine, okay? So, um. I've just been in bed praying. Like, praying and praying and praying until I fall asleep. And. <laughs> I don't necessarily believe that, girl. You know, asking for mercy and help to feel better. You know, and promising to take care of my health and ask for forgiveness for damaging my health the way I have. Mm, I mean, yeah, yeah. We are certainly getting to that point, are we? Taking it for granted, like a joke. Every single mukbang you did, girl. I don't care if I have an eating disorder or food addiction or whatever the- It's really not an excuse, to be honest. You and Amber love to blame it on that, but it ultimately is not an excuse. Part of my language, the fuck it is. It's <clears throat> something I have to take control of. True. I hate, I hate when people are like, you know, it's not your fault. You don't have control over this. Like, I mean, people like in some programs and some beliefs about how to tackle binge eating that you're powerless over it absolutely not true you, like truly you're not i think you have more power in that situation than someone who is actually addicted to a substance like that kind of addiction truly is a disease because it turns to a point where you cannot control it and you can't stop it just cold turkey even if you wanted to so there's a huge difference Foodie could stop eating, and she'd be fine. Clearly, she's gone a few days without eating. She's fine. I mean, she's very sick. But, you know, she ain't sick because she isn't eating, so... What if that's been my problem the whole time? I mean, I don't want to, like, rub her face in it, but, like, yeah, that kind of has been the problem the whole time, girl. King, I'm powerless. So... Hi. It's crazy how her and Amber are going through the same motions at the exact same time from literally the other side of the world. That's crazy, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Gonna start. I mean, Foodie's only a few years, like seven years or so older than Amber Lynn. So Amber's going to be getting to this point soon because she's, I believe, shorter than Foodie and weighs more. So trying to eat. Healthies. And I'm sorry, y'all can definitely hear the construction. I had to come out of the bathroom because Goo was getting antsy. So, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to listen to it a little bit. Small, small amounts. Maybe some soup. Probably get soup or something light. Something like this. Vegetable soup, I don't know. And, um, I have to talk to the doctor about all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure I'm eating the right things. And I think I'll go see a different doctor this time <clears throat> for another opinion. Oh, interesting. You know, uh, so. Didn't see 2019 Amberlynn doctor shopping era coming into this, but all right. But at least I mean, girl, you are sick. Like, what would a different opinion do for that? You are sick, dog. Unless she's talking about a different opinion towards her weight. I have a bit of appetite back, which is kind of a good sign, but I'm still so lethargic and tired. And I just want to be curled up in bed. One minute I'm hot, 
One minute I'm cold, but I gotta go out. I know it. I but mean, I need a bit of at least just to get some medicine, girl. Strength. So I'm gonna try to, like I said, get something super healthy. There's a lot of healthy food services here that make really clean, healthy, diabetic-friendly food. Um, so I'll just maybe have something enough to get some strength, and then Salah will take me to the doctor. Uh, I'm sorry I'm talking like this. It must be annoying to listen to, but... This is all I can give you right now, honestly. I'm so... I mean, I understand, girl. Oh. So depleted. You gotta fight that camel disease you got. <laughs> I weighed myself... Uh... <clears throat> two days ago. And I was like 152 kg. Oh. Interested to see what it'll be after this, girl. But I'm not saying that as like a victory. I'm just telling you in relation to, you know, the weight loss and being sick. It's not in a healthy way, so there's nothing to celebrate. Anyway. I mean, I guess, girl, but we gotta get the ball rolling. Um... That's an update for you. I'm sorry that I worried so many people. Um, I can imagine how worried some people were because, you know, my health is not good. So, and, yeah, coincidentally happened right after the camel incident. I don't think it's a coincidence, girl. You know that. The last time I got sick right after the camel, it was more of a flu, like respiratory thing. So, she has been sick all the times that she goes towards the camels? Then why do we keep going to the camels, girl? Oh, my God. Oh. We'll see. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. And I'll keep you guys updated as, you know, as often as I can. <laughs> That's the end. It just cut right there. Alrighty, you guys. Wow. Thank you so much for tuning on in. Goo's getting antsy, so I'm guessing we gotta go for a W-A-L-K. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. I always appreciate you tuning on in and letting me know your thoughts and all that. I hope you're having a great day. And, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.